Hello, Glory Community School. This is Yolanda Tazino uh, coming in to do a testimony regarding my Glory story. I would call this episode one um, because I have so many um, I have so many episodes that have taken place since becoming a part of the Glory community. I am one of Apostle Karen's disciples. And I came into the community back in 2017, um, July to be exact, um, after watching a video uh, with one of my sisters in Christ uh, doing an interview with Apostle Karen. Uh, during that time and what drove me to the Glory School community um, was that I was um, unemployed and I had been unemployed since July of 2016, so a year uh, later is when I saw the video and decided to become a part of the community. Um, where I was spiritually was um, I had received lots of information and had gone to lots of different trainings and um, had taken part in being a part of a lot of leadership teams and uh, there was lots of building and lots of building and lots of building um, but I still uh, felt stuck and stagnant in some areas that I had come to identify were uh, patterns and cycles is what I would like to call them at this point. Um, I was a part of uh, Glory Network, um, went to multiple Glory conferences, uh, Glory Invasion, Glory Encounter, uh, Glory Tribe Leadership, Glory Celebration, everything Glory um, I was taking part in. Uh, this was prior to 2016 and my being unemployed. Uh, this journey started back in 2010 um, is when I was a part of those Glory Networks. Um, if I were to tell you who was a part of those networks, you would know them. Um, so lots of information, um, lots of manifestation, lots of releasing um, of the Glory, but no in-depth teaching. Um, so since joining uh, the Glory Community School and when I went into the Glory Community School and saw how much information was sitting there, um, free, um, free information, I began downloading. Um, I began basically ingesting lots of what I was seeing because, again, I had been in search of the Glory and information about the glory and attending conferences about the glory and going to trainings about the glory but no one um, was laying a foundation regarding the glory and so um, I went into the community in July of 2017 uh, shortly after that uh, Harvey hit um, in, t in August of 2017 um, and so that was a stretch of a period uh, during the time of the storm. I still kept eating and ingesting and um, taking in the information uh, that was on the Glory Community School. And I had remembered being connected to Apostle Karen. I think I added her on uh, Facebook. And then I went out and did some research concerning the Glory School community um, on different other avenues through Google. And so I found her on um, LinkedIn and um, I remember adding her outside of the community and her reaching out to me during Harvey to find out if um, I was safe um, and it had awaited me uh, to check in uh, to make sure that I was okay and I thought that was so um, that did something for me uh, considering um, how much was going on and that it's not something that people normally would do in in her position is what I've experienced in the past and so that stood out to me as it related to her as a person also her character and where her heart posture was as it related to um, who she was as a person um, after August and September I believe she started posting uh, information regarding a class that was coming up the release the glory class the first one that she ever did uh, which started in October of 2017 um, at this point, um, I was still unemployed and had been unemployed uh, since 2016. Um, and so, of course, I was counting the cost of everything uh, that was going out uh, because I, was, I didn't have any income coming in. Um, and I heard God loud and clear 
say you need to take the risk and invest in yourself. Um, so I did start the class in October of 2017, which brings me um, here. So after getting connected with the Glory community in July of 2017, by October, I was taking the class. Two weeks after I signed up for the class and made the investment, um, where I had no clue where the income was going to come from because, again, I had been unemployed. I'd worked a few contracts. Nothing had really panned out um, as far as anything long term. Um, but after signing up and taking the risk and doing the class and making the investment, um, two weeks later, I was called for an assignment. And um, I took that job. And so I knew that I was going to be able to stay in the class after investing in the class. And so God uh, did what he does uh, when we are obedient, in which in this case um, I was. Again, this is something that I had chased after and wanted more in-depth training and or teaching on. Um, at one of those conferences that I had gone to uh, back in 2010 to be exact, the conference was called America Set Ablaze, uh, Miracles, Signs, and Wonders. Um, one of the prophets, um, not one of the speakers, but one of the prophets that was attending the conference um, prophesied to me in 2010. And he said that you are going to be um, um, overshadowed uh, with glory. You are going to be um, chased down by glory. You're going to have moments in glory where you're going to be talking and in the middle of a conversation, you're going to be hit with the glory um, so heavily that uh, you won't be able to stand. Um, that stood out to me as I continued to chase and or seek out, although no one was teaching in depth about the glory and I had had glory encounters and glory experiences. Um, I felt like if I was going to be walking in something of that magnitude, that uh, I should probably invest in knowing more about it if I was going to have those types of experiences. And so uh, being a part of the Glory community has helped me to get connected um, with that, to uh, build a foundation and to gain more understanding and to uh, learn what it is I would be uh, carrying and or even releasing. Um, in the process of me taking the risk, in the process of me getting uh, the job, um, I became a disciple and or mentee of Apostle Karen. Um, and in one of our uh, sessions, she asked me if I wanted to work um, a real job, or, or if I wanted, I'm sorry, if I wanted to accept a job or was I praying about a job? And I told her yes. Um, I'd gotten a job in October and I had been a contractor for quite some time. Um, the opportunity to work there full time was not even an option. Uh, it was a company that had been a part of the downturn during, during the oil and gas. Um, uh, well, there's a boom and then there's the times where it kind of just slides down. Uh, so they are just in the process of regrouping and basically getting back established and getting back to where they're used to seeing uh, their numbers, so to speak. And so an option to become um, uh, a regular employee or a full-time employee was not available. Uh, but for myself in my heart, I had been praying about uh, working full-time uh, because there were some things in my heart that I wanted to do uh, for myself and God knew that. Uh, so she had no idea uh, that in my heart that I was praying about having something stable but uh, God prompted her to ask me and uh, I said yes and as she began to pray so from October to June um, with no type of option as far as being uh, a full-time employee being on the horizon um, I was made an offer um, I accepted the offer I did not become an employee until July of 2017. So we're talking about a year from the time that I became a part of the community, July of 2017, 
to July 2018 was when I was actually made an offer. Um, the warfare behind the offer was, was pretty intense. Um, finances had been an area that I knew was a pattern and or a cycle that needed to be broken. And uh, partnering with uh, Apostle uh, Karen uh, actually helped me to not only um, break some cycles, but it also increased me as it related to um, us praying and I bought into and began to do the decrees of the Take 8 Wealth Strategy. Um, I also ordered the King's uh, Decree and be began to decree some things. When I was made the offer, the offer was more than what I had made, not only on the assignments that I had worked from 2016 through 2017, but um, it was more than every job that I'd had in the past. And so uh, for me, that was a glory story that was worth me talking about, that was worth me um, praising God about, but, but was also worth me letting her know um, how much being in connection and in partnership with the community and also being under um, her as far as for the leadership and also making the decrees and everything just sort of lining up. Um, it's like I've been in uh, a real school. Every trimester of me taking a new approach and investing in myself I was able to see breakthrough um, in multiple areas, but specifically uh, what I came to her for initially was the state that I was in, which I knew I needed a breakthrough. I knew that there were patterns. I knew that there were cycles, and I actually had no clue what to expect when I signed up with the Glory community. Um, I just knew that I needed something different than what I had been experiencing. Um, I knew that I felt full and, and I needed uh, uh, to break the wineskin, so to speak. Uh, I needed something new and something progressive and something um, that was going to help me to uh, press and push myself beyond uh, the barriers of what I had experienced in past seasons, um, but also a new, a new awakening as it related to uh, ministry as a whole, uh, to my own self, to my own soul, uh, to my own uh, mindsets and whatever barriers that were there that needed to be broken. Um, I was willing to do that. And so I stepped out. I did take the risk. Um, I made the investment and I haven't stopped making the investments. Um, it has been very beneficial to me. I have multiple stories, but this was the one that I was led most to share uh, with the community. Uh, that if God is pressing you to take a risk, be obedient and take the risk. If God is prompting you to invest in yourself, we never know what our yes means until after we say the yes. We never know what our commitment will mean until after we've made the commitment. Um, we never know what partnership will mean until we participate and agree and get in alignment with what it is God wants to do. Um, again, I had chased after the glory since 2010. I had no idea what I was going to sign up for, but what I did know was that there was a wealth of, of information um, sitting there available to me. Um, I did not have the money to invest in another training course. I didn't have the money to become a part of another network. I didn't have the money to um, attend conferences. And so everything was laid there for me uh, in the community, and I took advantage of it, and I invested in uh, myself. And so for me, what the glory has done is brought me to this place, um, to a place where I have been able to see breakthroughs, to a place where um, I am able to see promotion uh, within my own life, but not just externally, but also internally. So glory has brought me here and has helped me after the search, after the chase. Um, I believe that glory was actually hunting me down as I was actually looking for it, and um, I found it, and it found me, and it was a wonderful uh, collision course, and I plan on um, looking forward to a whole lot more, a whole lot more as it relates to the glory. 
what I will say uh, to you and how I will end this is this is where the glory has brought me. Um, this is only one episode of multiple stories. But I will say to you, if you haven't thought about it, and if it has not been anything that has been pressing you, or maybe even you've consider it, considered it and you're not really sure if it's for you, this is what the glory has done for me. And what I will say to you is, let God get you to the glory. Let the hunter find you. Chase it. It's chasing you. If you're here, it's been chasing you. But invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. Take the risk. And if God is, is prompting you to do something, take the next step. Be advantageous. You'll enjoy the adventure. Blessings to you all. I look forward to sharing more when Apostle Karen gives me um, the grace uh, to do that. I thank you for hearing my episode one of my glory stories, and I hope that I can come back and share more of the multiple glory stories that I have um, that has occurred with me over a 12-month period of time. Blessings to you.